Nadine. Uh, hi, Nadine. Nice hi, to talk Harry. to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You have two sons. Yeah. Uh, you, were, you were in privately rented accommodation for about five years, yeah. is that right? Just over and, five. and then you got a house, uh, you got a, a letter in April to tell you what? To tell me that the house had been repossessed. The house so, you were renting? Yes, the house I was renting had been repossessed. So there was no communication from a landlord. This was completely out of the blue. And who sent the letter? What sort it of? It was a, in a property or estate agents from Dublin. But I have since found out that it has been bought by an American vulture fund. Oh, so the vultures have landed? Yes, they okay. have landed. And they want the house that your landlord they want the owns? house tomorrow, in fact. Tomorrow being? Tomorrow. Yeah, that's not in figure of speech. Oh, no, no, 23rd of September. Are you out of the house tomorrow? That's it, yeah. That's it. How old are your children? Uh, th 14 weeks old and eight. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> Where's that leaving you? Since April, you've known this since yeah. April. How many houses have you been inquired I into? I have looked into approximately between 40 and 50 houses. And how many have come good so far? I have viewed between 10 and 15 and I actually found an angel of a landlord who has given me the keys of a house on the hopes that I can get the month's deposit and the month's rent for her in a matter of weeks. But now she's been brilliant. Okay. Now, when you're, when you're looking at for all those houses, the, the, yes. you look into the 40, you, queue, you go to see 10. Are you joining queue after queue after queue? Yeah, I've been at the bottom of queue for I've, a long time. Like, I haven't heard back from the majority of them. Okay. So it's, you get the basic, um, if we get to your name on the list, we'll ring you and you can get a view in for the house. Right. Tomorrow, you're out of the house. Yes. And you're going to move into this other house that the landlord, the landlady in question is, is yeah. kind of letting you do it for a little while. How long is she letting uh, you do it for? Well, she hasn't put a date on it, but a couple of weeks. A couple she weeks. would like to have the deposit and the first month's rent. How much was your monthly rent up until tomorrow? 480 euro a month. A month. How much is this property? 1100 euro a month. So it's <laughs> more than doubled. How are you going to fund that? I mean, I know you're going to move in yeah. for two weeks, but that's a lot of money um, to be coming up with. I've never received any help before. I've always paid my own rent privately myself, but I will be eligible for HAP this time, yeah, but which all, will help enormously. You've been working jobs since yeah, you were... Yes, since 16. 16. And what are, you, what are you doing with yourself at the moment, job? I know you've got little children. I'm so. not working at the minute. I was sick when I was pregnant, and now my little baby, he was born ill as well, so... And I'm in college in primary school teaching, so I'm kind of just, I took a break to focus on the kids and focus on college. Okay. But what I'm trying to get at is, you don't want handouts. No, I've that, never gotten handouts. I've always did it on my own. Right. And you're, so you're like a lot of people watching tonight who work hard, yeah. uh, pay their taxes, uh, training to be better, to yeah. be a school teacher in your case, yes. but just can't seem to cut a break on this That's one. That's it. Like, I'm just stuck in a rut at the minute, so I just haven't been able to catch a break. And this lady has given me a break in the hopes that I would be able to manage to get. Okay. Uh